In our office, we use a lot of these blocks which are quite adjustable in nature. But how did we exactly create them? Let me tell you. Welcome to AutoCAD Tips and Tricks. These blocks are called dynamic blocks which have certain properties that allow it to be flexible. First of all, create an object which you would want to convert into a block. Select it and convert it into a block using our standard procedure. Once it opens up in the block editor, you will see a window that also pops up towards the left. This is what helps us make a block adjustable or dynamic in nature. There are quite a few tabs over here. Let's say I want to add a stretch function to this window wherein I can stretch it along the length. I'll first go to the parameters tab, use the linear function and add it on the window something like this. Next I'll go to the actions tab. I'll take the stretch action, select the parameter that I just added, select the point from where I would want to operate the stretch command, specify a stretch frame a lot like the stretch command, select the objects you want to stretch press enter. You will see the stretch icon appearing on your parameter. Now once you close and exit the block editor, you will see your block has these arrows which will help you perform different kinds of functions. There are a lot of different actions that one could create. So keep exploring.